This is an Illustrator in 30 seconds or so tutorial brought to you by tutvid.com. Now we're going to take a look at creating crazy gradient effects with uh, the blend tool. Now I'm going to go ahead and just set my foreground color or the fill color I should say to nothing by hitting a little slash and then the stroke color that can just remain black for now. We're going to change that later. I'm going to draw just a simple uh, little shape like that, just like that and hit the enter key. Um, and there we go. We've got our nice little shape. I'm going to grab the move tool, hold down my alt or option key and just duplicate that. Uh, I'm just going to duplicate it right to about there. Um, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to select both of these and I'm going to go to my stroke panel. If you don't have it open, you can go window stroke and I'm going to bump up the weight of the stroke to like five and eh, maybe 10. We'll go 10. Yeah, that looks good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to select one of these strokes and we're going to change the color of the stroke. I'm over here in the swatches panel and I'll just go ahead and choose like an orange and then I'll go to this one here and I'll choose more of a pink color just like that. Now I'm going to highlight both of these. I'm going to grab my blend tool which is this tool right here. Now this tool looks slightly different in older versions of Illustrator. Don't worry it's there. It's called the blend tool. You're going to double click on it and we're going to choose for spacing specified steps and I'm going to give this like 200 specified steps. I'm going to give it a lot. I might actually need more than that but I'm going to say 200 and I'm going to leave the orientation the way it is. Hit OK. Now all I'm going to do is I'm going to click the one of the anchor points on the end of uh, one of these lines and I'm going to select the corresponding anchor point on the other path that I drew and click. And you're going to see what it's going to do is draw 200 little strokes in between uh, my two lines. Now that's not all. You can actually select one of these lines. I'm grabbing the pink path and I can change the color of it to like green and it's going to, well, well I, I selected with the uh, regular selection tool. You want to hit the letter hotkey A and use the direct selection tool. So you just select that one path. We can change the color of that stroke to like red and now we have an orange to red gradient or maybe blue and now we have an orange to blue gradient which looks hideous um, or we can do sort of a purple or a light green or maybe is that yellow there's more of a green so there's all kinds of cool things you can do with this you can actually grab like a corner of this and change it and your gradient is just going to kind of move and shift uh, with the paths as you move them so creating gradients with the blend tool maybe not something you would think to try to do but you can get some really really cool results uh, by doing it that's it get it got it good nathaniel dodson tutvid.com i'll catch you in the next one